right, first step is you want to make sure that you're in drop D tuning. So you're going to take that sixth string and make sure it's a D. What I do is I will, I will tune it with the six and the four. Maybe play a D minor chord, maybe make sure it sounds good. Capriccio Arabe, it's going to start harmonics at the seventh fret. We're going to hit the six, five, and four. And what I'll do, there's a couple different ways I'll do it. One is um, I'll just pluck them all together with the thumb index in the middle. Um, you can also go like this. I know Christopher Parkening does it like this. And so what I'll do is I'll have my first, second, and third fingers down, and I'll take my thumb, and these, these fingers here deaden the other strings so they don't also ring. And then we're going to start up at the 11th position. So we've got, I, I, I begin with my first finger down, second finger down, and then kind of ex, an extension to get that pinky up there at the fifth fret. So we're going to do a pull off. And then we're going to go down to the ninth fret, ninth position, 2 1. So it's going to go pull off, 2, and then 4 to 2. Now we're going to go down to the fifth position. Pinky goes here. Open. So that's kind of a rough little thing. What I would do is practice them in groups of four. So you go. So do that. And then practice this in the next four. And then practice the four down to two, and then down to here. So you're, you're practicing them in groups of four, but you're overlapping them. And then try a group, and then try doing six of them together. So the first six notes. Practice that. And then the same sort of thing, overlapping them um, until you're able to get it. So after this, we have, we're gonna do a bar at three. Pinky goes down. This is an A major chord. I do a four, six bar. So I cover four of the six strings. That repeats, you do the whole, and then play through that, that figure. So you start off open, and then fourth fret, first finger here fourth finger goes up there and you're gonna go two one at the seventh fret and then pinky's gonna go up to the 14th so I'm doing this all thumb and when I get to this point is when I switch to my fingers so second finger there and you're gonna go one two four two one now we're going to go down to the seventh position. So second finger will be down. Now we're going to go down to the second position. Now when we go to the fifth string, we're going to go down to the first position. Back to the second. Like that. So again, slowly it's going to go. practice this in a similar way that we did with uh, this part. Take it small sections. So practice that. And then add this little. And then practice the next shift and so on. So you do groups of four, five, six notes. Um, another thing to look for is try different I am pattern. So like if I started on my M finger and then alternated middle index. Or if I start on my I finger. You may find that one of those two um, works better for you. So measure eight, we've we've been it here. 
So I slide up, you're gonna go up to the eighth fret, slide up, and then the second finger goes, and I hit those back to back quickly. And then first finger. And then if you take a look at measure five, for measure five, six, seven, and eight, I'm always fairly loose with the rhythm. This always reminds me of some of the Chopin piano pieces, and I know he was a big influence on Tarrega. Again, if I could roll my R's, it'd sound much cooler. And so if you listen to a lot of a lot of the Chopin piano pieces, you're gonna hear a lot of rubato, you're gonna hear these type of phrases taken at, um, at different tempos. All right, take a look at measure nine. We've got open six. You're going to cover four of the six strings. Middle finger will be there. Um, bar covers the third string, and then third finger is there. So you're going to go. And then hit that fourth string. Take off that middle finger. Plus that third finger. And then pinky goes here. So that measure slowly goes like this. repeats for the most part and then I go here like that so seventh fret and I really lay on that almost put I should put, almost put a fermata there hold on to that before you go into that melody now the way I play this is I will accent that second beat so you've got this accent accent Alright, so in measure 11, we're going to be in with the half bar at 5. We're going to hit the outer two strings. And then these two fingers are going to go down on the second and fourth strings. And then the pinky goes down. So all together, this equals an F major chord, although I don't put them down at once. And notice if you look at beat 2, there's an accent mark. So I do try and keep that louder than the rest of the measure. So you've got... And then we're going to go here. Pinky will pick up the 8th fret. And then we're going to go 2-4-2, two, two, hammer on pull-off. And if we add the bass line, you go like that. So that measure slowly is... Then if you take a look at the next measure, it's the same thing except we're going to begin with a little pull off this fourth finger which is already down to the first, like that, plus the open six. So you've got from the beginning, from measure 11, and then this repeats. And then if you take a look at me measure 13, the first half of it repeats again. And then the first finger is going to go to the seventh fret on that fifth string. And we're going to do this little scale passage. So it's you third fingers on that ninth fret, pinky over to the first string. Take the first finger, slide up here, second finger, and then pinky. So that all together, that line goes. And then if we add the bass note, we have this, open fifth string. So slowly that measure goes like this. And if you take a look at measure 14, we're going to do a half bar at 10. Pinky will be on that 13th fret, outer two strings. And then we're going to pluck, and I use my thumb, index, and middle, the third, second, and first strings. Pull off to the third finger. Like that. So that beat is going to go. And then you take off that third finger, open five, and then hit the second and third strings. So slowly, that first half is going to go. Then we're going to put our first finger, 7th fret. This is a bit of a stretch. We're going to go 2nd finger to the ninth fret, 
and then pinky is going to go up to the 12th fret, back to that second finger. So you got this. Now to do that, I really drop the shoulder to be able to make that stretch. And if you just absolutely cannot do it, you can play that note, release it, and then play without that bass note ringing. So it goes. And then uh, pinky is going to go on the 11th fret on the second string plus open five. First finger, second finger, third finger, like that. So that last beat goes like this. You've got the 11th fret down to the eighth, third string, and then here. So slowly that measure sounds like this. And then I do a 4-6 bar at 7, and I also have the pinky down on the A, which is that 10th fret. So we're going to go hit the 4th string, 2nd finger is going to go here, hit the 3rd and 2nd string. So it goes like this. And then 3rd finger goes 7th fret, and you want to try and hold that while you play 8th fret on the 2nd string, followed by 7th, followed by 6th fret. So it goes like this. Now if you, if you just absolutely cannot do that, you can let go of that bass note and just play that. Then we're going to just stay in this position, take off that 3rd finger, and we're going to go open 5, hammer on 2, and then pinky, and then pull off. So that's going to go. So that measure slowly goes. Now we're just going to take this first finger and move it up one fret. And then we have this. Now I think of this as an A minor chord. It's not technically an A minor chord, but it's that same A minor shape that you have. We're just playing it up here. So you've got... And then your pinky will go 7th fret, and then 3rd finger and 1st finger. So that measure is going to go, and then, alright, so the second half of that measure, you're going to begin with a 5-6 bar at the 5th fret, and then you have your 2nd finger down and your 3rd finger down on the 4th string and the 2nd string here. So we'll go... And we'll just go straight up. With my right hand, I have these three fingers already down on the first string, second string, third string. And I'll go. So I'll go thumb, thumb, index, middle, ring. Pinky goes here. And then pinky's going to go to the 11th fret. And then to the 10th. So that measure slowly goes like this. Take a look at measure 17, and we're going to have this little hammer-on pull-off at the 8th fret on that 1st string, plus open 3rd string, and then we're going to go 6 and 8 here. So it's, I bring the 1st finger down, like that, and then we're going to go half a bar at the 3rd fret, and we'll have the pinky down, and then the 3rd finger is going to go down, take off the pinky. So it's, so I'm hitting the third and first strings, and then the first and second strings, like that. So that's going to go. Now we have this, this little passage, which a bunch of uh, pull-offs. And so I'll just take it through, you slow, through it slowly, and then talk about how I would go about practicing it. You're going to start in the fifth position. Um, second finger is going to be on that sixth fret. You'll hit the open five string. Pull off. Then we're going to go up to the ninth position and go two one again. And then we're going to stay in this position. We'll go four two. 
and then we're going to go up to the 11th position and go 3-2. So slowly it's going to go. So one more time. So again, with the pull-offs, make sure that you're plucking it with your left hand. It's not just pulling straight off. So after we do the 3-2, we're going to reach up to the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th fret, and we've got that 4 there and then the 2, and we're going to go plus open 5, pull off back to the 12th, and then down to the 9th position, 2-1, 4, pull off the 2. Now we'll go down to the fifth position, 4 2. Pinky will go to the eighth fret, open first string. Now we're going to go down to here to get that third fret. And I use my pinky there. Three is right next door, and then I use one and two. All right, so that's a, a rather long passage. And what I would do is break it up into small chunks. So I would first practice maybe every beat. So you've got... So make sure you master that. And if we take a look at the end of measure 17, we've got... So I would master that. And then try and do those two beats together. So... You have this. So practice that. And then, and then this, and then this. So practice each of those four groups. And then maybe try groups of six so that you're starting to overlap some of these. So you, so you go like this. maybe this and so on and then gradually add the whole thing together practice it slowly and then bring that speed up all right measure 19 and 20 we have this before we repeat the entire um, little section we've covered so back to measure 11 open six and now you have three and four down first finger goes down first finger goes to the sixth string and as that goes there, my pinky goes up to that 4th fret. 4-6 bar. So that measure is... And then it basically repeats again. And then I go like this. So this is a little different than the original score. But my 3rd finger goes on that 7th fret. And then you're back to the beginning of that section. I'll do the second time through is I'll add a little more rubato to it, maybe play it more upon a cello. Something in a way that's different. So as a listener, you're not thinking, oh, he's playing it the exact same way as he played it before. All right, measure 21. We're going to start by hitting this open sixth string. And three and four will be here. First finger goes here. I go like this. So I go middle finger there, and then I lay a bar at third fret to catch the third and second string. If this is too much of a stretch, you can certainly use your third finger right there. So you go. Because then we go to a C7 chord. Um, I finger it this way. And the reason for it is because it's just easier for me to get set up for the next chord. You can certainly finger it like this, and then, and then do that chord right there. So slowly that measure goes like this. And then measure 22, we're gonna form this chord right here. It's a bit of a tough one. You've got a stretch piece. You have to cover the bar at the third finger. So again, adjust your arm, try and find a position that makes you 
makes it easier for you to do this and where you feel comfortable. So you're gonna hit the sixth string and the third string. And then first and second. And then the fifth and the third string. And then first two strings. So that's gonna go like this. Second finger goes here. And I let go of these two fingers. We're gonna do a little scale passage. And then a little hammer on pull off. Plus hit the fifth string. So that's gonna go. Third finger goes here, right next door. And then you're gonna hammer on right there. So slowly, that measure goes like this. And if you look at measure 23, we have a bar here. You just keep the bar you had from the previous measure. And you're gonna hit the sixth string, hammer on, pull off on the second string. And then a bit of a stretch to get those two. And then repeat that. So that measure up until that point goes. The challenge is to keep this bar down while you hit these two. Because it's gonna be used, you want it down so you can hit that fifth string. So you've got so you've got it like this. Now the bar shifts to the fifth fret. Hit the fourth string, and then we're gonna go eight on the second string. And then another little hammer on pull off with along with hitting the third string. First string, fourth fret on the second string. So the second half of that measure goes like this. So that measure sounds like this. So in measure 24, we're gonna have a half bar down on the fifth fret and pinky will be at the eighth fret. So you're gonna hit the open five and the first string. Third finger goes to the fourth string and you'll hit the fourth and third strings. So you've got this. Second finger goes to the F on the sixth fret. Third finger still here. So the first half of that measure goes like this. Then we're gonna to switch to a full bar. Now when I make that switch, I keep my middle finger down. It acts as a pivot finger when I switch chords. Because I've got this, because I've got this. Stays down full bar. We're gonna hit the fifth and the second string. Then we have this little passage. So to do that, you've got the bar down. So third finger will go to the seventh fret on that third string. And then hit the second string. Then we're gonna hit the sixth string plus this little hammer on pull off at the sixth fret. And then take off the middle finger. Third finger goes down. So the second half of that measure slowly goes like this. All right, so measure 25, we're gonna begin with a five, six bar at three, and then your third finger will be on the fifth fret on that third string. And so you're gonna hit the fifth and the first strings, followed by the third string, and you're gonna go down to here. So it's keep your third finger where it's at. It's going to be a pivot finger and you're going to put your second finger on the fifth string and then pinky will go underneath that third finger on the second string. And then once you get to the top of this line, we're going to pull off first we're gonna pull off on the second string, third fret to the first fret on that second string. So it's. Back to the third string, and then the fifth string. So it's, that little figure is gonna go like this. 
So that little figure is going to go like this. So that measure slowly goes like this. And then we're back to this. So this is the same thing as measure 22. And then measure 27, the first is the same as the first half of measure 23, where you've got that big stretch. All right, and if you look, take a look at the second half of measure 27, we have the full bar at five. Hit that note. And then slowly, we're gonna go pinky on the fourth string, hammer on to the third finger on the third string, and then two hammer-ons in a row, plus you're gonna hit that fourth string. And then the second finger will go here. So slowly that's gonna go. A little faster to go like this. So going from measure 27 to 28, we have this. Once I go to here, I do a half bar. I switch it to a half bar. Because you're gonna do this open five plus the first string. Hammer on, pull off, pull off. Like that. So slowly the connection between those two measures go like this. Hit that note, half bar. And then right after that your second finger is going to go to the third string. Harmonic seventh fret fourth string. Back to that. So it's going to go And then we have this little arpeggio. So I start it, you're going to be in the sixth position. Your first finger will be here, that's sixth fret, and you're going to stretch up to the tenth fret, that D. Open five, pull off. Third finger goes here, so pull off. Third finger goes here. As I play the open first string, I slide down to the third fret there. So you've got slide, and then pull off here. So slowly it goes like this. And then we have an A major arpeggio going up in measure 29. So I start with an A major chord, and the way I do it is I, I cover the fourth and the third strings with my first finger, and then my second finger is on the second fret, second string. And you're gonna go like this. So what I do with my right hand is I keep these down, index finger on the third, middle on the second, ring finger on the first, and I go thumb, thumb, index, middle, ring. As I hit the open first, I use that to slide up to here, 10th fret, 9, 12, so. Open 5th, then you're going to go to the 3rd position. We're going to do a pull off from 6 to 3. 3rd finger goes 5th, down to the 3rd fret. We're going to slide down to the 3rd fret, and then this pull off again. And then end there. So that little figure goes like this. So that whole measure slowly goes like this. And then we A major again. Fifth fret. Then we have this chromatic passage that starts at the low A and ends up at this A right here. So the pattern is gonna go like this. You're gonna go open, one, two, three, four. Same pattern on the next string. Next string, we're gonna go open, one, two, three. Open, one, two. Then shift to the third position. 
then shift to the seventh position. And the reason why we do that shift is that we're going to end on the A and you want to end with your pinky right there. So that chromatic figure goes like this. Then measure 33, where you go to that A, 10th fret, and hit that. All right, so in measure 32, we're gonna to switch to D major. Pinky will be on the A, plus the open sixth string. You're gonna do a five, six bar. Third finger goes to the bass, and then right there. And then we have this little figure in the top. So without the bass part, it's gonna go like this. And then hammer on pull off. Pinky will go next door. First string. So with the bass line, it goes like this. And then measure 33, we're gonna keep that five, six bar. And we are gonna hit the bass plus the first string. Hammer on pull off. Pinky goes to the 10th fret on the second string. Bass. And then your third finger is going to slide down to here. Then we're going to do. We're going to, then we're going to slide back up to where we were. We're going to start first finger here. We're going to go like that. Plus the open five string. And then here. So slowly that measure goes like this. here. So we're back to the 5-6 bar at 7. We've got A there, 4th string, 3rd finger bass, back to that 4th string. Now we're going to do a bar at 2. And hold that, we're going to go 3rd finger on the 3rd string here, and then at 2-4-2, two, two, hammer on pull off, plus the 4th string. So slowly that measure goes like this. Bar two. Um, I keep a bar, although I move it to just the four six. That way you can get the open five. And pinkies on the melody. Bass note. Now this is kind of an awkward stretch. So again, think about your body placement for me, I drop my shoulder a little bit to help me get that chord. Um, think about like maybe moving the elbow out or in to see if you can get that piece. It's, it's a stretch. You've got this. Open five. Now we're gonna do a slide from four to five. Pinky is gonna go up to the ninth fret. Pull off to the seventh. So it's third finger goes there. So it's So slowly that measure goes. And then we have this little hammer on, the collection of hammer ons. One, two, three, four. And then five, six bar. And this is the same as what we did earlier. And then measure 37 will also be the same for the first half of it that we've done earlier. Then we have this little uh, passage we're going to go. So if we're going to break that down, we're going to start on the 6th fret on the 5th string, hammer on to the ninth, And then we're going to do that same pattern, we're just going to move to the 4th string and shift up to the 7th fret. So it's like this. Now we're going to stay in this position, middle finger will get this note, first finger will get this note. Pinky, second finger. So slowly. All right, then measure 38. We're gonna we're gonna start with this position. We're gonna five six bar. I got my third finger 
on the ninth fret first string and second finger on the ninth fret third string. So we'll go. And then harmonic. And then we have this little passage here. So what I do is I, I start in the 10th position, my first finger's here. I put my second finger there, pinky right there. We're gonna do a pull off from four to two. And then first finger, second finger will go to the 12th fret, third finger, open. We're gonna use that open to get down to here. So slowly it's gonna go like this. Harmonic. And if you take a look at measure 39, there's a lot going on, but we'll just take it um, step by step. So you're gonna go two to one, pull off, plus open five. And you'll hit that second finger again, that second fret again, like that. Then slide up, 12th fret on that second string. Hit that and then hit it again and do a pull off. Take that second finger, it's gonna slide down two frets. Pull off. Now we're gonna put the third finger where this finger is and do a pull off. And then we're gonna to go to the second position and go four, two, two, one, one, zero. Hit that open second. And then middle finger goes here. And then pull off. Hit that note again. And then slide up, we're gonna hit the 10th fret there. So there's a lot going on and I would recommend taking it in small chunks like I, I do in the other videos. Um, you know, just practice that. And then practice this. And then practice this. That's a tough move. And then practice this. try and do the whole thing. Here's the whole thing slowly. And then measure 40 is the same as what we've done. So this is all repeat. This is still repeating. Measure 44 is the same as measure 36. All right, now this is where it changes. So the, the second half of measure 45, we've got this. So I start with a half bar at two, and I'm my middle finger here. This is a D major bar. You're gonna go open four to hammer on the four fret. Pinky goes there, all the way up to the 12th fret, and then hold it a little bit fermata, and then second finger. So slowly it goes. And then, so we've got this hammer on pull off, plus open third. Now this is going to slide up to there, and then one and two. And then we're going to do a, we're going to hit those three notes, plus do a hammer on pull off, and then here, open, and then I do a four six bar five, add the second finger. So measure forty six and forty seven are like this. And then measure 48, we're gonna move our way back to the key of D minor. We're gonna start here. So this right here, we've got a five, six bar at two. Second fingers on the second string, third fingers on the fourth. 
fifth string. Pinky's gonna go here. Now we switch to minor. And this is what we've, something we've done before. So I love how that shifts from the major to the minor. We've got major. repeat that whole first section again uh, after the intro and then if you take a look at measure 58 this is what we've done before the way it's going to end is you're going to hit these three harmonics here six five and fourth string at the 12th fret and then here and just let it ring out this is just a half bar at 10 hitting the four three two and one